The new Polymaker Fiberon PPS carbon fiber. Can we put heat sets in it? Stick around, let's figure out if we can. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Scott, Edge of 3D, and the new Polymaker Fiber Online, specifically the PPS Carbon Fiber, had some people uh, questioning whether or not you can put heat sets in it. I don't know, but we're going to find out. I printed a simple uh, 3 by 3 block out of the material, and I don't know if the mic will pick it up, but it has the metallic sound that, uh, let's try this here. There you go. Anyway, boron standards, I'll put all that down in the description below. Boron standard heat sets, and uh, the pencil or pencil or whatever, the little heating iron thing, and it's got um, CNC Kitchen's tip on it. So let's go ahead and see if this will accept heat sets. Now, I typically do everything at 300 degrees. That's what I've set the iron to. And we'll try the first one here and we'll see if we get a anything out of it at all. Now I'm not just going to shove it down in there and put a lot of pressure on it. I'm going to give it, a, you know, like 20 seconds to heat up. That way the brass gets good and heat soaked. And then we'll go ahead and give it a try. And nothing. Zero movement on that heat set. So let's bump this up to... Uh, we don't want to do 330. So there we're at 310. Actually, let's just go to 320. Because I don't think 10 degrees is going to make that big a difference. There we're set at 320. Get the heat set in place. And just like before, I'll bring it down. I'll give it a little while to get the brass good and heat soaked. And I'll apply some pressure to it. And there is a tiny bit of movement in that, but it really takes a lot of pressure to push it in there. I don't know how well that camera will pick it up. This one might focus better. There we go. So that's 320. Let's go ahead and bump it up to 340. I didn't get the best top surface on this print, so they're not really wanting to set in there to start. So there's 340, and we'll give it a few seconds to heat soak that brass. And then we'll start to put some pressure on it. And at 340 it did go in, but it took quite a bit of pressure. So let's bump on up to 360. Let it heat soak for just a second. And we'll go ahead and put some pressure on it. It goes in a little easier at 360. And when I pull the iron out, it doesn't push back, as you can see. And it's got a little bit more ooze out around the edge of the holes, which would have to be cleaned up. So let's jump up to 380. Got a little filament on the tip here and it stinks. Okay, there's 380. Give it just a second to warm up. And 380 goes in nice and smooth. When I take the iron back away, it's not liquid underneath, so there's not pressure built up pushing it back out. And for the final, we'll go 400.
Now mind you, this piece is not annealed. I have not had time to print one out and anneal it. That's coming. It all takes time. I'm doing lots of tests. So there's 400. Let it heat up for a second. Squeezes right in. When I lift it out, it does push back out. So it's obviously making liquid underneath that, building up pressure, and it's pushing it back out. So I'm going to say that 380 is the sweet spot on this stuff. So we're going to dump, jump it back down 360 to 380. So I'm going to set that at 370. Now, a new test that I've put together is a pullout test. We're going to set heat sets into these two parts here. We're going to put them in this fixture here and we'll try to pull it apart and see if how much it pulls apart, if the heat set pulls out or if the fixture breaks because I haven't tested it. Okay, so here's the screw. Let me move this aside. Now, this one here is printed standing up like this. This one is printed laying on its side. These are printed at Voron Standard. So again, I'll put the links to all the Voron Standard that I use for test parts like this in the video description down below. So we'll go ahead and put two heat sets in these. Give them a minute to uh, cure in just a little bit and cool off so that they, we don't skew the results. And we'll pull it and see what happens. This is setting at 370. They're both set in there very well. Let's go ahead and uh, put this on standby so I don't burn myself. And let's get this set up. We want peak and let's go ahead and do it in kilograms. So that's cooled fairly well. I can put my finger on it without burning myself. So that just threads in there enough to get all the way through the heat set so it's fully set in there. And then this part right here just has a slot that just sets in there like that and there we go. So we'll put that on there like this, put this on here and let's see what gives way first. Well, I don't know what broke. But it held 29 kilograms before something gave out. Let me go find the part. So this was the part printed standing up. And it popped the top off right there. So it was printed in this orientation, popped the top off. So it was layer adhesion. The layers gave out up here at the top long before the heat set gave out. And that was at 29 0.65 kilograms. So let's try another one. Okay, everything is lined up and ready to go. Let's see what fails on this one. Warning. 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 There you go. Peaked out at 67.92 kilograms, and it hasn't popped out of there yet. That is 149.6 pounds. Let me shut this off because it's going to be really annoying. So, can you put heat sets in PPS carbon fiber? <laughs> you can. Um, can you hang 150 pounds from it? And literally, there you go. That's it. It's the heat set, a three millimeter screw, and it's hooked into that part. And at 69, 150 pounds, 69 kilograms, it did not pull apart. So, I'm, I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, I, I don't know what to say. Um, 
that's quite uh, it's impressive. So I have a bunch more tests I'm working on, but I have a full-time job. So, you know, all this is evenings and weekends work. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a whole host of test subjects over here. I've got some printed blocks where I'm going to anneal one and then one as it's printed. We'll compare the measurements. I've got the Izod shear test pieces ready. I uh, built my own Izod shear tester. It's in the other room. I've got a couple more little things to fine tune on it. More of the CNC kitchen test hooks. And uh, um, I do have a lab oven coming so I can do, hopefully do some heat deflection testing. Um, the oven has to be shipped from China on a boat because I'm not paying $1,170 shipping on a $1,500 lab oven. So it's coming by the slow boat. It'll be here sometime this year, I hope. But on the subject of hand, heat sets and PPS carbon fiber, yes you can. How strong is it? Well, it's stronger than the layer adhesion, which kind of figured that was going to be the case. Um, it's stronger than my little test machine will do. You know, I put as much pull on it as the machine's able to make till it's stalled out, and uh, you, you've seen the results. So, I appreciate each and every one of you that takes time to watch these. I hope you're finding some of this information on this new filament, especially this uh, this lovely metallic sounding stuff. When I set it down on there, it's really metallic-y sounding. Um, they're going to open this up to public sales on July 25th, a week from now. My Polymaker filament affiliate link for Polymaker Filament is in the video description down below. You know, if you choose to use that, I get a little bit of a commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It doesn't affect anything on your end. Um, it helps pay for some of this stuff. Um, you know, I am supplied the filament, but I'm not supplied the heat sets. I'm not supplied the testing fixtures. Um, you know, it, it helps a little bit. So again, I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying this. Hit that subscribe button if you so inclined to. Hit the thumbs up button if you found this helpful. And if you want to see when I drop the next video, hit the bell icon. I look forward to seeing you guys the next time around. And as always, peace out.